Hey, this is Prash Talwalkar reminding you to mind your decisions. Today, MIT ranks as one of the top universities in the world. 150 years ago, this problem appeared on its entrance exam. Reduce the following fraction to its lowest terms. The numerator is x to the power of 6 plus a squared x cubed y, and the denominator is x to the power of 6 minus a to the fourth y squared. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve this problem, it helps to know the difference of squares formula. This states that a squared minus b squared is equal to the product of a plus b and a minus b. But if you didn't know this formula, how would you derive it? Let's go through a geometric explanation. Consider one square with an area of a squared and a smaller square with an area of b squared. Let's subtract the area of the smaller square from the larger square. The area that remains is a squared minus b squared. But we can also solve for the area in terms of rectangles. Consider this rectangle, which has one side of b and another side of a minus b. We also have this rectangle, which has one side of a and another side of a minus b. Both of these rectangles have a side length of a minus b. So why don't we join these two rectangles along this side? When we do that, we end up with one long rectangle. One side is a minus b, and the other side will be a plus b. The area of this rectangle is the product of these lengths, and that's the difference of squares formula. So let's use it to solve this problem. Let's focus on the denominator. Notice it's actually a difference of squares. It's the difference of x cubed being squared and a squared y being squared. We then use the difference of squares formula on these terms to get the following. We now simplify the numerator. Notice that x cubed is a common factor to both terms. When we factor this, we get the following. We now take the numerator over the denominator and both have the term x to the power of 3 plus a squared y. So these will cancel out. And we're left with the answer of x cubed all over x cubed minus a squared y. It's a neat little problem, and it's fun to know that problems we solve in math class today were still important problems 150 years ago. Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.